Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. Polycarboxylate cements are supplied in a powder in a liquid form. The powder is mainly zinc oxide, while the liquid is a water solution of polyacrylic acid. The two materials are mixed together and will set in approximately three and a half to four minutes. The mix can be made in two forms, either for a cement consistency or for a cement base consistency. I will make a mix of the cementing consistency in which we'll use three drops of the liquid and one scoop from this little dispenser of the powder. If you are making a mix for a base consistency, you will use two drops of liquid and again one scoop of powder. The first material introduced into the market is a product called Duralon, and this is the product uh, which you people will be using in the laboratory. The first step is to tap the, the bottle of powder against the desk and compact it. Then firmly press the powder dispenser into the powder, scrape off any excess material, and then tap it sharply in order to dispense the powder onto the pad. The liquid is a rather viscous liquid, uh, unlike the cement for the uh, zinc phosphate material. The bottle should be held vertical and squeezed rather slowly because this is a rather syrupy kind of consistency. Once the drop is about reached its maximum, release the pressure. Second drop, you can see this material sort of strings out and is not uh, particularly fluid. And three drops. For the base consistency, we would use only two drops of the liquid. This mixing procedure is accomplished by incorporating most of the powder into the mix initially and then adding only small increments in order to adjust the consistency. The mix should be done in less than 30 seconds. This then leaves uh, approximately three minutes working time since the setting time is going to be about three and a half minutes so that we can leave a small amount of powder along the mixing pad, and then simply incorporate the majority of the powder with the liquid in the initial mixing. This material will feel somewhat more tacky and more viscous than other cements that you people have mixed. And you may wonder about the ease of cementing a gold restoration with a mix of this type. However, although it feels and looks a little bit more viscous and sticky. Uh, the film thicknesses produced by this cement are completely adequate for the cementing consistency. This material has a very high surface gloss on the surface and the cement should not be used once this gloss has been lost so that you will have this working time 
for about three minutes, and then the surface will gradually become dull. And when you reach that stage, you should never use this material. You simply should discard the material and go back and make a second mix because the material will set too promptly and is not adequate uh, for clinical use at that point. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu license.